The Legend of the Gold Moth by Scott Tiernan Mir the moth was brown with sparse, fur-like scales, which made Mir's wings slightly translucent. This was unlike any of Mir's friends in the woods. All the moths Mir knew were fluffy with ornate markings because of their dense, furry scales. Though they did not all look the same, all of the moths in the wood were kind to one another and enjoyed flying together. Even when all of the moths had fun together, Mir knew there was a reason to have translucent wings, but just didn't know what exactly that reason was. At night, Mir had to be careful because Mir became colder quicker, so Mir wasn't able to do everything the fluffy moths could. Though they tried to include Mir as much as possible, sometimes Mir had to sit out. However, during the day, Mir could fly higher than all the rest because Mir wasn't weighted down by the extra fluffy scales. But at night, Mir would look to the moon and dream of touching it. Mir felt so drawn to the cool, luminescent light. One night, when the moon was as round and big as the eyes that stared at it, Mir said, I'm gonna do it. And Mir flew. Saying goodbye to all the friends of the woods, Mir took off for the moon. The closer and closer Mir got to the moon, the harder and harder it was for Mir to fly because the air became colder and colder. But Mir persisted, and Mir's wings grew stronger with every flutter because inside Mir heard a voice say, Follow the light and change will come. But not only did Mir listen to the voice, but Mir believed it. So Mir kept flapping and fluttering and dashing, knowing this was the light the little voice inside spoke of. The moths back in the woods watched as Mir soon was far beyond their view. They were sad, but hopeful. The fluffy moths didn't know anything outside of the woods because their furry scales were too heavy to fly beyond the trees. But they knew that Mir was translucent for a reason, and they said, if Mir follows what Mir knows, just like we follow what we know, then Mir will be safe. Mir will be just as Mir needs to be. Just as they said this, Mir looked back one last time. Mir knew to keep going, but Mir was starting to miss all the friends of the woods. Mir's heart began to ache with pain, just like Mir's wings did with every flutter. Back in the woods, the moon fell to sleep in the earth, as the sun was reborn anew. There was no sign of Mir, but the moths went about their days, some with heavier hearts, as they had spent the time of the warm sun with Mir. The sun ended its cycle once more, as the moon was raised to life again, but this time, a slightly smaller shape. The moths knew this was the path to a new moon. Night after night and day after day the sun was born and would die and the moon would take its place. Until one night there was no moon. It was the new moon. It was the beginning of a new era, a new season, a new cycle, a new change. By now Mir hadn't been spotted or seen for quite some time. But the moths still had hope. Maybe the new moon would bring Mir back to us, they thought. So they held on. Sun born, sun died. Moon rise, moon hide. Night after night, day after day, no sign of Mir's beautiful translucent wings. Until one night when the moon was highest in the sky and as round as the eyes that watched it, when all of a sudden a shooting star shot across the sky, and another, and another, it started to look like zip-zapping fireflies zooming around the moon. But the stars didn't burn out or disappear. They actually became brighter and brighter and started turning from the silvery color of the moon to a pale yellow. Then they became a brighter yellow, and as they grew in size, the moths of the woods could see that they were golden, glimmering, and shining. Then one of the moths said, It's Mir! 
Mir came back gilded in the sun's rays that the moon reflected into the wings. Mir's brittle, translucent brown wings absorbed the golden beams of the sun, which now Mir harnessed. Along with Mir came a whole new group of friends from foreign woods who heard and believed the same voice Mir did. Mir and the moths of the woods celebrated along with the golden moths about this wonderful reunion. And every night of the full moon, you might be able to find Mir, the gold moth, along with a few golden friends. Though very few, they flutter around shining the brightness of the sun.